Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at this browser problem that can affect every browser, whether it'll be Chrome or Edge or any other browser, this can happen where it says managed by your organization. Now we're on Microsoft Edge here, but it can affect all of them. And it's a pretty annoying problem. So what is it? When you click on here, you'll see on the extensions, your browser is managed by your organization right up the very top. How can you remove it? And what is it? Well, these are policies that have been set by either yourself or a company, or they are set by malware, malicious applications that like to make changes to your browser. And you can end up with redirects and other issues like this, where your browser is now hijacked with this particular problem. It can also be some sort of anti-telemetry program that you've run that will actually put registry keys inside the system to stop the actual telemetry from sending home messages. And this is a common problem that people get. So if you're in Edge, you can go up to the very top here and check the policies for this. You can see Edge colon forward slash forward slash policy. And this will show you the policies that are set for this particular browser. Now, potentially unwanted applications and browser hijacks can actually make changes to your policies inside your browser, just like this. And this can cause problems because you can end up being redirected to sites that you didn't want, or it can actually uh, do some other things as well with your browser. So you've got to be very careful. It's not always something that you've done yourself. It may be some sort of malicious program that has done it for you. And uh, I'm going to show you how to check all this and remove it from your browser. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can go ahead and check this out. So what we're going to do here is going to go group policy editor. Now you will need Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro or above to gain access to the group policy. But I'll show you another way as well to how to reset it. So inside here, go to user configuration, administrative templates, and in Windows components, in here, you'll see your browser, for instance, Microsoft Edge. And on the right hand pane, you'll see a bunch of policies that you can set for this particular browser. Now, of course, there is none configured here. If you look down this section, it says not configured. This means there has been no policies set up inside Group Policy Editor. Now, if someone has been tweaking your PC for you, or you've used some sort of program from off the internet or script, it will make changes to your computer. Once you configure these inside group policy, this will add a registry key inside the registry and make a change. Now, malware or potentially unwanted applications can make changes in the registry. And of course, this will affect the browser. Now, also, people may have physically gone into the registry and made registry edits to the registry to set policies for that browser. And I'll show you where you can find those inside the registry if you haven't got Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro and you can't use the Group Policy Editor. So let's open up the registry by typing regedit in the search and we'll open this up. And we're gonna go to HK Local Machine here. And then from here, we're gonna go down to Software and there should be a folder called Policies and we're gonna to have to go down here to Policies. And inside this policies folder, we'll be able to see Microsoft Edge here. So let me open up the policies folder inside Microsoft. And then inside here, you should see Edge. Inside here, there'll be a bunch of policies that are set inside here. And uh, this will be where all your policies have been set for that um, actual browser, which is causing the issue. Now you can actually just delete the Edge folder, policies folder, and this will remove uh, the actual uh, policies from there. And you'll also see there is another Microsoft Edge folder just below this one. So going through the registry can be a little bit lengthy process and a bit difficult to do. And again, this is just for Microsoft Edge. So I wanna show you a way to go about resetting all of the permissions for uh, the computer. So it will remove any of these permissions no matter what browser you're on. So let's go ahead and open up command prompt here. And this will work for any browser. So this is probably the best method uh, to use in removing the policies. So first command you want to put in is this one. I'll leave them in the video description and then you can push enter and this will reset all of the group policy uh, permissions there. And again, you can see here group policy users. We're going to reset all the permissions for this one as well. Now we're going to do GP update space forward slash false, which will force changes, which we've just made. 
and uh, you can restart your PC, which is probably advisable. You should see there group policy updates have been completed successfully. User policy update has been completed successfully, and that has now been removed. Now, there's also some other things that we can try, which is basically resetting all the policies on the computer inside the registry. And you can see there's quite a few places that we need to go to to reset all of these. And these are locations where uh, we would have to go to manually and remove all these manually, which is going to take a fair bit of time. You can also create a batch file uh, for this as well. If you wanted to do that, you can do. I've already got a batch file for this, but I'll put the commands inside the uh, description of the video. So you just have to open up command prompt as administrator and post one of these in one at a time and push enter. And you can see it's going to delete any sort of uh, policies that are in place. Now, if you get an error code coming up, don't worry about that. Just continue going through the list and push enter, and it will remove all of the policies on that computer. And you can see inside HK current user software and in policies, it's removed all of those. And it's now going to be removing HK uh, local machine and it's going to remove the software, Microsoft, and policies. It will remove them all in that location. And there is other locations in here that have policies set inside the machine, which it will remove. If you get any error codes, don't worry about it. Just leave those and ignore them. And once this is all done, we're just going to go through this and remove the rest of the policies on this system. And this should then reset all of these. We will restart the system. And then basically, once that's done, uh, we should be. Uh, pretty much good to go from here. So remember, whether you're using uh, any browser, whether it be Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge or any of the other browsers, it will work for all of these and remove the policies from there because we're removing them from the registry itself. And you can see we're just going to be removing all of these. And once it's done, we're just basically going to do a quick restart of the computer. And then what we'll do is we'll go back into the browser here and take a look at the actual browser. So let's go ahead and we finished off this now. And what we're going to do next is going to open up our browser and we'll go to the three dots here. And you can see it's already been removed. I just want to make sure that we've got this uh, reset as well. I'm going to go to the three dots and then we're going to go down to reset settings down here just to make sure all of the settings are reset and just click reset to default values. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one and uh, reset here. So this will remove these. Just make sure that you run scans with anti-malware software because it's important if you've been infected that you run scans with the software to remove any sort of uh, leftovers or infections that might be still on the system. Trojan downloaders can download more malware from the internet and you can end up with the same problem coming back. So make sure you use programs like Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro, and programs like ESET online scanner to make sure that you've got no malware left behind on that computer if you was infected. And you can see the policy has now been removed on the browser. And we can also go to extensions here. And I'll show you here that all the policies have been removed from that PC and that browser there. And just to make sure that there is no more traces left behind, I would definitely do scans on your computer, especially if it was malware or, you know, adware that's changed your browser settings. If that is the case, then you definitely want to do scans. If it was yourself using programs to uh, block stuff, then by all means, you probably aren't infected and you've just done these settings yourself, then you don't need to run scans. But other than that, that should be it for this video. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of help to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Anyway, have a nice day. Bye for now.